Alright, uh, we're going to go over some Wildstar fixes for latency and uh, frame rate inconsistencies in the game right now. Uh, first thing you want to do is right click on your Wildstar shortcut and click on properties. Uh, you're either going to have a Wildstar to EXE with no quotes or with a quote. Either way, after this EXE or after the quote, you're going to have a space with minus sign DX9. That's minus sign or dash DX9. But you want those lowercase. Apply that. When you apply it, you can check it real quick. <coughs> Loading your game up. Once your game's loaded up, it will display your current DirectX version being used right down here. Let's blow it up so you can see it. You will see DX9 instead of DirectX 11 where my mouse is at. And when that happens, you know it's working. Notice this as well on 64 bit computers. We're going to switch this over to 32 bit for consistency because right now the way their files are set up, that it's running better on that. And that's just how uh, data structures are set up around uh, the 32 bit system. So it's just it's more intricate than that but anyways we're gonna go over some other commands now the properties of the shortcut so right click that and go to properties again you're gonna go to compatibility and just trust me on this you want to run the compatibility mode uh, as Windows XP Service Pack 2 it's going to switch that over to the 32-bit mode and then your game will run smoother because of the way the file format is set up. Do this. If you're going to play in full screen and just have to do it, disable visual themes and desktop composition. All that's doing is making your computer focus on the game rather than keeping and I per se on your desktop so you could easily alt tab to it. Instead, when you have these checked and you're playing full screen, when you alt tab, it has to call upon your desktop again so it takes a couple seconds longer, but it's well worth it for stability in full screen mode. If you're going to play windowed mode, go ahead and leave those unchecked. Run the program as administrator apply that and before we go anywhere else too fast you're going to want to click on your start menu computer right here like this right click it click on properties you go to the left side tree you go to advanced system settings when you're advanced system settings you're going to want to click on the advanced tab make sure you're on the performance group box and click on the settings button when you're on the settings button, you want to switch over to adjust for best performance. When you do that, you want to switch to advanced tab. You're going to look at your virtual memory and we're going to give you some extra game room basically on your RAM. Uh, it's a virtual RAM drive and it allows you to basically add more RAM to your system so larger games like this can still run on your computer with low amounts of RAM. So this is a big boost for somebody who has low amounts of RAM or is just blue screening consistently and wants to change that. If you have extra space available on your hard drive, I have 18,000 megabytes which is roughly 18 gigabytes. I'm going to use about three-fourths of that and I'm going to go with an initial size of 12,000 and a maximum size of 14,000 megabytes uh, bits and uh, anyways that's going to give me roughly 14 and 12 gigs initial and maximum that's a fairly good size and that that's probably anywhere from 
two to seven times your actual RAM at this current state and time. So if you don't know what it is, or if you do know what it is, it's a good thing. Uh, you're probably going to have to uncheck this box here when you get to the virtual memory page as reference and highlight your solid state drive preferably. It will make your paging file work that much faster when you do do this. And add your custom size and click set. When you click set, it's either going to let you click OK or it's going to ask you to click uh, to restart your computer. Either way, you're going to want to restart your computer at that point and when you come back you'll be ready to change some settings inside of Wildstar. Star is down right now, so we're just going to look at this. You're going to go to your video, and just a quick reference real quick, when you play in windowed mode for this game, when you play like this, uh, you want to start out like this if you have a terrible computer, um, and slowly drag it out so you could see, but at the same time you're also fine tuning your lag basically with the size of your screen because the more pixels right here that are being displayed on your screen at the current point in time is literally the more energy and processing power required to display that. So if you have it like this, it may be a little bit pixelated, but when you're in game you can see what's going on and you can play and it'd be a lot less lag free. You could also multitask probably. You could also play windowed mode like this. It might help you out a little bit, but honestly you might as well just disable your desktop composition go to full screen and uh, you could also once you're in full screen adjust say your maximum screen resolution you could adjust that to another ratio equivalent to your screen resolution but a lot lower and it will do the same effect with just making it a little bit more pixelated in the long run but giving you better frame rates uh, you also want to disable your camera shake, just kind of, you can play with this, this is your view distance, that means you can't, at 256 you can't see the mountains far away, 124 you can see the mountains and the horizon far away, 124 on the fog means no fog real far away, 2048 on the fog, that means that's how far is fogged and yeah that's, that's a lot of fog. So anyways, usually you'd want to slowly just kind of adjust these. I like to have them like that. That's just because my computer is a desktop and it runs pretty well. Anyways, you're going to want to switch this to bilinear as well and the texture filtering. Of course, you're going to have low quality. Turn your clutter distance and parallax down. Clutter density to low. Shadow settings off. You could change your... You could change your render target scale to 0.5 and it's going to look like something out of Duke Nukem when you're seeing models and whatnot through the game but again it's going to help you play a lot better and you can still see what's going on 0.75 is a lot more forgiving and still gives you some uh, performance boosts 1 uh, to 2 is where I play uh, anyways uh, that's just really coming down to the individual models that are being registered on your screen and how much pixelation and uh, you just have to imagine like when they're moving that pixel all those little pixels in that tight new grit tight knit group it's kind of like teleportation or whatnot but it's kind of a hard thing and anyways uh, they're doing it it's gonna lag out on your computer if you have a lot of compression going on that's uh, rendering that or if you're down real low it's just rest less l rendering for you to do and it's just better for you that way. Uh, turn your FX uh, anti-aliasing off, aliasing off, your gamma is your gamma, that's like the overall brightness. Uh, you can play with that accordingly. You can turn your scene detail down, that's like cutscenes. Um, I think we covered about everything. Um,
sorry I'm kind of just getting this video out there for people to see and doing a one cut uh, just so you could kind of get things going and hopefully be able to play the game uh, good luck and uh, hopefully see you out there on the PV PvP realm Pergo peace